what it does to me. I put it like that. Mm -hmm. They have my apology with God and the commandments to do. It kills the flesh. Mm -hmm. It gives me life. Mm -hmm. right. So the flesh brings what? Curse. So I choose not to walk in my flesh. In the spirit. See, the spirit do this. Keep that flesh under what? Amen. I was going to say that I learned that I can't let the problems that I put into the world overtake the Jesus. Because he's going to be in the midst of all the problems and situations as long as I put them in the midst of the that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I got some good ideas here. I like something like that. Come on. That's good. Just be led before you make a decision. Like you said, don't make quick decisions. Be led. Pray about stuff. Don't just jump into stuff. That's right. Don't jump till you pray. Right. But admit, like he said, the command to keep his commandments. Because Jesus never moved until the Father gave him commandments. I think They have nothing to do with the law if they are not us. Mm -hmm. The law is a curse. Yep. That's a curse. Yep. Yep. That's a curse. There's a commitment. That's a curse. It's just all about sin. The commandments that God gave. It's a big thing. Yeah, the law, in the, in the Old Testament, they was under the law. Right. The they law was sin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They was under the law. If we too, we, we're talking like the world talk, like, oh, we're in a recession, we this, we that. I say I don't participate in that. That's what I say. But. So you, you are not under that. You're under it because he said, for God so loved the world that he gave. So if he gave of himself, he gave me everything I need. Amen. He gave me life, and he is what? Life. So everything about me shall prosper. I come to give life and life more. Not only the abundant life, my abundant everything I need in life to, to stain me while I'm here in this earth rain. Amen. Mm -hmm. See? See life. Not there. Keep the commands of his way. Long Jesus was on the earth, he never saw death. He saw life. Because he was alive. If we grab that, we're going to be. I'm telling you, I'm grabbing it. And he's living on the inside. Yeah. Because he said, great is he that's in us, and he that is in the world. Right. When the enemy comes, the kill, steal, and destroy, but he said, he's coming to give us life. He 
Yeah. And then life more abundantly, but this we have to just like you said, constantly see it and believe it that you know, greater is he that's within us, regardless of what we go through. Mm -hmm. He's he's already been done. Yeah. It's already finished. We already, you know, where he purposed us to be. We just gotta Mm -hmm. Not you. His yeah. life. Mm -hmm. Does that make it sense? Mm -hmm. He want to live his life through you. Not you live your life. You don't have a life. Your life is in him. So if I'm living, he said, let your light shine. He said, let it shine. Me. Let me shine. Let me shine. That's what he's saying. It ain't about you. You ain't got to say that. Sometimes you can get walk in a place and people can tell the difference between you and them people out there. Mm -hmm. It's something about a light. About him. He's going to either think one finger or two like that. <laughs> some, some, somebody going to see different than you than they do somebody else. That's him. Because we belong to him and we are Yeah. You have his care. Oh, thank you. We don't see ourselves as he's telling us that we are. He done told you all. You got to believe. We are. We don't believe that we have these characters, but we do. <laughs>
And Lord, we thank you tonight that you want us to see the choices that we make, God. We can have our seat there. Lord God, that we make better choices, that we see life the way you see it. And God, we thank you for our deliverance tonight, that you're going to raise us up, God. You're teaching us about ourselves and showing us where you displease, where you please, Lord God. And I thank you for how you send this house in order. You send your people in order, Lord God, that they can see themselves as you, my God, as you see them, Lord God, in you. And Father, I thank you tonight. And God, our choice tonight is to live and not die and declare your works in your word. And we ask you to bless the tithes and the offering as you see fit for the keeping of your kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. 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 I thank God that He's teaching me to grow up. So y'all look over that again. Just take time and study that. You got oh I Um yeah, I can call my of you. You didn't write down. But if that's a good thing, it really opened up my eyes that the choices that you make out of life. I can help you in, in every I go over those a lot, like with some of my friends and stuff, but like I said, they don't see that they're making a choice. But you know, like you said, you plant it. You plant <laughs> that word and God and somebody else will come along and water. Long as you give the word out. Amen. And you do see the people would see it because I mean when I saw it, it blew my mind. Amen. Amen. That how God is trying to get get us to really see what life is really all about. Okay. Deuteronomy 30, verse 14, 15. Go back over to 1 and 6. Then verse 19, and go through on 11, 20 to 26. Then do on 30, verse 1, 15, and 19. Then Matthew 6, and Mark 16, and 16, and John 3, 16. And I'm going to talk about next week, uh, the calling, what he called. We got two more episodes there. really bless me. Maybe we will call you about my action. Amen. At the sense of me. <laughs> my choices. Okay, nothing, nothing else. Everybody got it? Yeah. Okay. Father, we thank